Hello, everyone. I hope everyone's doing okay in the midst of all the stuff that's going on right now um, in the world, in, especially here in Minneapolis. And I hope everyone's staying strong. If there's any issues that you or your family are having with getting work done due to the crisis that's happened in South Minneapolis, please make sure you're communicating that with me. Um, I really hope that you're all being honorable with it and not going to use it as an unnecessary excuse if it's something that doesn't directly affect your family. But I do need to know if anyone is struggling and needs any help with anything. Um, but moving on with our public service announcement, really today you should be starting your recording and your editing. Uh, I'm going to show you the rubric here in a little bit, uh, but really making sure that you understand that doing the recordings and making sure you're piecing together a great public service announcement Hopefully you are watching those other PSAs that I posted the other day, but also make sure that you look at the rubric. So as we view the rubric here, I'm going to show you the different pieces of it. So it says, as part of your final pre preparation to turn in the PSA video, you will find out, fill out a copy of the rubric by moving it to notability and circling the scores you feel your project has earned. If, as you evaluate your project, you realize that you need to make adjustments to get a better grade, write down notes in the section to the right of that category in the bottom. So right here. So if you are scoring yourself, just because that's where you're at, as a one or a two, in any of these categories, you need to fill in the notes or the to-do list over here on the right. That's a requirement for you to be able to earn full credit. If you feel that you are a three or a four and you are satisfied with that, Okay, you don't necessarily have to fill it out, but this really helps keep your brains organized. In reality, by Tuesday, because this is due, going to be due on Tuesday evening, on Tuesday, when you're ready to turn this in, your video should be almost completed. You should not be saving this until Tuesday night and Wednesday to complete. So I really want you to start working on the recordings today. Um, the other piece of this that you are required to fill out are these general comments and things to work on before submitting the video. So if on Tuesday when you're filling out this rubric, you are going through this, you're like, hmm, I'm sitting at all fours. Awesome. Well, then you can say turn in video. If as you're looking at this, you're like, oh my gosh, I have like zero extra graphics in there. Um, my original content is only like a minute and 15 seconds. Like I'm going to be a one on that. My sound quality, I can barely hear one of my interviews. I don't have those background tracks. I don't have music set to it. Um, I don't have a hook. Okay, I don't have that attention grabber that we talked about. I don't have a call to action. That Those are going to be all issues that, re, that will result in you not receiving a great grade. So you want to make sure that you are filling this things to work on before submitting video. So I know that you know what you got going on. So with that being said, you should be recording today. You should be recording Monday and Tuesday. If you feel like you need to record over the weekend to get that editing done, please do that as well. Uh, but most importantly is making sure that you're using the rubric in order to make your video. And that rubric is due to me in class by Tuesday evening. So if you have any questions, please make sure you get a hold of me. But I am not going to be, really be posting anything on Monday or Tuesday. Just reminders of what you need to get done. So good luck with everything. And I hope everyone's families are safe and healthy. Thanks, guys.